what challenges are the ship owners actually faced up with uh, from the bank lenders? Uh, I would say the main challenges are linked to really a fallout from the European banking crisis a few years ago. Um, a number of banks have left the sector. Um, the regulatory environment for banks as a result has gotten much more challenging. Capital requirements have been increased, so banks have less capital available for, for, for their activities generally. Shipping is generally regarded as a higher risk activity, so they have to attach more capital to ship loans than they might do for other types of loans. So the result is that the availability of capital has been uh, reduced. Uh, and at the same time, banks are really looking to lend money to the biggest and I would say most credit worthy companies, meaning that they are they don't take as wide a, a view of the range of potential clients. Uh, it seems to me that most banks, our bank included, uh, are really focusing on a much smaller uh, s sector within the shipping market of, of clients. Now let's go to the ship owners. Are they actually trying to figure out uh, ways of uh, extra funding from different sources other than banks? I think they have to. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly the larger owners are already doing that. If they are publicly listed, uh, they've, they've obviously used the public equity market. Uh, but even if they're private, uh, they may be looking to bring in uh, partners to fund part of their business, equity. Um, there are bond alternatives, there are uh, uh, cur uh, export uh, credit agencies if they're financing new buildings, uh, sale leasebacks we see being uh, increasingly uh, active as a product. So I think yes, it, it, the main theme is that owners have to consider a broader range of, uh, of, 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 of financing alternatives.